Du, 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 du. Yeah! Hello! Um, today, again, I'm under pressure and super, super busy. It seems like that is a uh, recurring trend. Now, there came a point where I started uni and I thought, you know what I'm starting to enjoy a lot more? Movies that make no sense. So I watched a lot of movies that don't make sense until it came to the fact where they kind of sort of started making sense because I'd watched so damn many of them. So then I had a dilemma. How do I go about finding movies which make less sense than these movies I'm already watching? Make them Japanese! So I've got a fraction of my Asian movie collection here and I will just go about describing what happens in them and maybe you too will be curious enough to pick up one. Now I'm not talking stuff like Audition or Old Boy or Battle Royale or these kind of movies where everyone knows and they're not really foreign artsy movies because everyone knows them. No, 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 I'm talking movies like The Machine Girl. This is a movie about a girl who gets her arm chopped off by the Yakuza and, like any sensible person would, straps a minigun to it instead. This also links me on to Robo Geisha, the movie which I mention all the time, which I actually don't have because I'm lending it to a friend. The movie Robo Geisha is about a geisha who gets pulled into a kind of shady underground circuit where they kind of put robotics in people and eventually she sort of gets killed and then some people put even more shit into her and she goes back to fight the people who tried to kill her. If you're noticing a slight similarity between these two movies, they're by the same director, so yeah. Next up, we got ourselves some Tokyo Gore Police. Winner of the Best Asian Film at the Fant Asia Film Festival. Just eternal proof that if you put little leaves around something, it looks official, even if it is the Fant Asia Film Festival. This is one of the only ones which actually stands up as kind of a good movie as well. Although, having just praised this movie, I have just remembered a scene where someone loses their legs and the blood propels out of those legs so hard that they fly around like a jetpack with them. Now we move on to... Free Extremes. This movie isn't actually a movie, it is three mini-movies. One by the person who directed The Audition, which is an incredibly creepy movie about a woman who puts needles in people's eyes and stuff. There's another one directed by the guy who did Old Boy, and a final one directed by someone called Fruit Chan, who I don't know who it is. The first mini-movie is called Dumplings. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Dumpling is a movie about people making dumplings out of fetuses, and then people eating those fetuses in order to stay young. The only thing I can really say about this movie is that it taught me the lesson of don't eat a fetus, which isn't really a lesson I think I needed to learn. Second up we have Cut. Now Cut is a movie about a film director who gets a deranged extra holding captive in a kind of like saw sort of movie. This one's alright. The final one is called Box. It's about a box. Finally, House 1977. Or Hasu, if you want to call it. It's very loosely, not even translated, sort of in English, sort of in Japanese name. The guy who directed this was just an experimental filmmaker who accidentally fell into the mainstream, so this movie is off its tits. Basically, five or six girls go to one of their auntie's houses in the country, and the auntie is a witch, and the house starts to eat them. The characters are as follows. Melody. She plays music. Fantasy. She reads fantasy books. Kung Fu. Take a wild guess what she does. Yeah, and that trend is kind of true for all the characters. But what's kind of weird about this film is that every single member of the female cast gets naked at at least one point in the movie. And what makes this kind of creepy is I'm pretty sure all of the schoolgirl characters are meant to be like 15. House, I do love you, but that's kind of creepy. And sticking with mild paedophilia, it's time for this week in Headlines. Thanks to Pick Me Up magazine, we have this lovely one. My Awesome Foursome. Filth. 